Hi, Movie Chronicles here. Today, I'm going to explain a Canadian psychological horror movie called Look Away. Here we go. We begin with a sonogram. It's twin babies, but suddenly they begin to struggle against each other. Maria is a 17-year-old high schooler whose parents are rich. She's also socially awkward and treated as an outcast by her classmates. One night, during dinner, Maria's parents try to set her up with a boy for winter prom because she has always been socially awkward. But, Maria does not want anything to do with such silly traditions and storms out. On the way, she hears her father calling her a screw-up, who has no confidence. As Maria tearfully looks into the mirror, she sees something behind it. It's a sonogram of twin babies. Later that night, as Maria is pleasuring herself, her reflection moves on its own, scaring the crap out of her. She wipes the glass, but the reflection does not move accordingly. Maria runs out of her room in terror. The next morning, she tries to tell her parents about the incident, but her father, Dan, who's a successful plastic surgeon, is only concerned that she looks tired. He says that she should look pretty when going to school. So, he forcefully sends her up to do makeup. As Maria does her makeup, her reflection moves differently without her realizing it. Later, Lily, her best friend, picks her up in her new car. Lily is beautiful, popular, and an ice skater. Next, they go to pick up Lily's boyfriend, Sean, who's a hockey player. Maria has a crush on Sean, but that's her little secret. Later, at school, a boy named Mark trips Maria and she falls to the ground. Sean gets angry and almost gets into a fight with Mark. After the boys are separated, Sean gently reassures Maria. That night, Maria is scared to face the mirror again. She starts talking to the reflection, asking who she is. The reflection says that she's always been there. Every reflection that Maria sees is actually her. The reflection says that she can help her and is always there for her. The reflection says that her name is Aram. The next morning, Maria's parents compliment her for looking radiant and beautiful. Maria also says that she'll go to the winter prom, which makes her parents happy. Later at school, Maria watches Lily and Sean making out and gets extremely jealous. She looks into the mirror and Aram smirks at her. After school, Maria goes to visit her father as a father-daughter bonding opportunity. There, she notices her father getting flustered when a patient, Claudia, arrives. Maria guesses that she is her father's mistress, with whom he's been having an affair. That night, Maria and Aram have another talk. Aram says that her father doesn't really love her. He's just embarrassed to have Maria as a daughter. The next day, Dan takes Maria to his clinic and says that he'll fix her face and make her more beautiful. He says that it's to make her more confident. But Maria is just disturbed by the very idea. That night, Maria sadly tells Aram that she was right. She is filled with anger at her father who hates her and her mother who's too weak to take care of her. They talk about her father's mistress and how he stopped loving her mother. They start bonding and giggling. Just then, Maria's mother, Amy, herself, comes in. She asks who Maria was talking to, but Maria says no one. Amy goes and tells Dan that Maria was behaving strangely, but Dan gives her some pills to calm her down and puts her to sleep. As he rubs some lotion on her face, Amy says that the nightmares have come back. Sometime later, Maria and Lily go to a secluded place where Lily teaches Maria how to skate. Maria struggles to skate and falls flat on the ice, but instead of helping her, Lily starts looking at her strangely. Then, she says that Sean is hers and Maria should not try to steal him from her. Then, she goes away and starts figure skating in front of Maria to make her jealous. That night, Maria and Aram talk again. Maria wants to believe that Lily is her best friend. But Aram reminds her of all the times in the past when Lily actually mistreated her and behaved like she's embarrassed to be around Maria. Aram says that she understands Maria and wants to fix things. She asks to touch both of Maria's hands. Then she asks Maria to kiss her. As Maria leans in, Amy knocks on her door. Amy takes her away and dresses her up. After that, Maria goes to the winter prom, which is conducted on ice with skates. There, Sean approaches her and asks her to dance. They have a good time together. Suddenly, Maria sees Lily and in a panic, she trips and falls. When Sean tries to help her, 
Lily stops her. Then, Mark comes and gives Maria a hand. Maria is suspicious at first, but she gives her hand. Nonetheless, suddenly, Mark pulls her across the floor as all the students jeer and clap at her. Then, he throws her out of the door. Being treated so terribly and full of embarrassment, Maria goes crying to the bathroom, where Aram promises to take away her pain. Maria and Aram join hands and kiss. In doing so, they exchange places. Aram is much more confident and domineering. Elsewhere in the house, Amy starts having nightmares again. Nightmares of giving delivery and Dan cutting his own face. The next morning at school, Mark and the boys make fun of Aram. So, she turns around and stares him down. She approaches him seductively and touches his private parts, causing him to go speechless. Then, Sean gives Aram her pen back. Lily is extremely jealous when she sees this. Lily then tries to apologize to Aram for not doing anything last night. But, Aram is not having any of it. She pretends to believe Lily and then asks her to continue teaching her skating. Later, Aram goes to her father's clinic and stares at him. Dan is super confused thinking that it's Maria. Aram leans in and kisses him on the cheek, saying that she missed him. Outside, she checks her father's appointments and spots Claudia, her father's mistress. She calls Claudia in for an early appointment. Then, she tells the secretary to call in her mother, Amy, for a romantic lunch date at the same time. Amy, who was lying in bed, depressed, is very excited to hear this. Later, Aram watches the chaos unfold as Amy and Claudia both enter the clinic at the same time. When Amy compliments Claudia's dress, Claudia admits that it's Dr. Dan's favorite. Amy now knows of the affair, but she does not do anything and goes home. Aram confronts Amy for not doing anything to save their marriage. Amy tries to avoid the subject, but Aram openly tells the truth about her father screwing all those women. That night, Aram goes to talk to Maria. Maria is now in the reflection, and she gets worried about what Aram is doing. But, Aram says that everyone has sinned, and they need to be punished. The next day, Aram goes out and secretly starts learning to skate. At school, she watches as Lily prepares her figure skating, and Sean prepares his ice hockey. Mark tries to scare her, so Aram decides to deal with him. After practice, she leads him into the washroom. There, she ambushes him and uses his stick to break his knee. Later, Aram and Lily go out to skate. Lily thinks that Aram is still a noob, but Aram has been practicing and she starts stalking her creepily. Lily stands back and does a double axle spin. Aram also does the same, but in an awkward manner. So, Lily starts showing her more tricks, which Aram copies with her best effort. Then, she starts to go after Lily who runs away in terror. After chasing for a while, Lily trips and falls. She slides on the ice, crashing her head against concrete, going unconscious immediately. Aram takes her phone and Maria is screaming at her in the reflection. Aram ignores her and calls the police, asking for help. That night, Maria starts getting terrified of all the things Aram is doing. Aram says that she never touched Lily and now, they will be happier without Lily. She says that everything she's doing, she's doing for the both of them. Lily passes away with head injuries. At her funeral, the detective gets suspicious of Aram, so she steps out. Sean comes to talk to her and gives her a consoling hug. Aram is super happy. That night, Sean invites her to his house and she goes to him. There, they smoke pot together. Sean talks about how pained he is to lose Lily. Aram also starts crying. Then, she confesses that she's always wanted to be with Sean. She starts seducing him. Sean tries to resist her, but Aram is too hot for him. They start making love. Aram looks towards the mirror, and she is happy to see that Maria is also enjoying herself. At school, Sean and Aram start going out. One day, she takes Sean back to her home. Amy gets suspicious of them, saying that the two of them should be grieving Lily's death. But, Aram simply sends her mother back to sleep. Then, she and Sean make love. One day, Aram sees the detectives at school, so she convinces Sean to go to a motel. As Aram starts undressing, Sean gets a call from her mother. Apparently, the police want to talk to them, because Aram and Sean started dating so soon after Lily's death. Sean starts getting scared, saying he'll go talk to them. 
but Aram says that she doesn't want to talk to the police. Instead, she starts seducing him. Sean gets suspicious and pushes her away. So, Aram hits him on the head, killing him instantly. When she goes to the washroom, Maria is there, clawing at the mirror, crying and scared. Aram also gets scared. They sit and cry together. Elsewhere, Amy starts thinking about the time she gave birth. They had another child, Maria's twin, but the other child was born deformed, so Dan euthanized it by leaving it in the cold snow. Ever since then, Amy has been haunted by those memories. Meanwhile, Aram goes to her father's clinic. She pretends to get drunk, so Dan puts her on his doctor's table. When Dan turns away, Aram removes her clothes and stands naked in front of him. Dan yells at her to put on her clothes and stop misbehaving, but instead, Aram asks him if she is beautiful. She asks him if he would still love her if she was deformed. Dan ignores the question and holds a shirt for Aram to put on, but Aram only wants her father to answer the question. Dan says that he would love her even if she was deformed. Aram quickly takes her father's scalpel and slits his throat. As he lies dying, Aram weeps for him and asks, why couldn't you love me? Then, as Aram starts washing her hand, she calls out to Maria, but Maria does not answer her. So, she breaks the mirror and leaves. Aram then goes home. There, she gets into bed with her mother. Amy and Aram hug each other. Suddenly, the scenes flash when we see Amy holding both Aram and Maria. And here, this strange movie ends. For more unique and fascinating movies that you might not even have heard about, click on the videos on your screen. Also, do subscribe, like, and comment. Your one act will make a huge difference to us.